Hey, hey, into the hey, my illustrious Paswa Snappers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Daisy, say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Today is your slice of yoga tree. Today we'll be talking about nightmares, you guys. Of course, I wrote you something. I wrote you something, but I want you guys to take this into consideration. Dreams and nightmares are not the same thing, okay? A nightmare is a dream gone awry. Is a dream that didn't pan out so well. It is definitely... It is a dream, but it is more of a scary dream. Or something ferocious, scary, haunting, daunting happens, okay? So I want you guys to take that into consideration when writing something, right? I wrote you something. Nightmares. Nightmares scare when they linger there. Poor judgment can become our wildest fear. Relinquishing reality is a black hole heavy, gone but plenty, a burden we tomorrow carry. Live less in sleep and become one with reason, seeping in the splinters of burden. Once an easy target becomes too far to see. Belief is interpreted by sorrow, it seems. We pick up pieces and can't wait to be touched or seen. It doesn't die fast, but becomes slow when you lose legs of speed. Spreading our thoughts in a viral disease, tempted by a string, the web smirks at what we believe. Nightmares. Write something about nightmares. Maybe the scariest nightmare you've ever had. Make it extra scary. Make it extra cool. I want to feel it. I want to know what you're going through. What made it more of a nightmare than just a typical dream? I want to know how you feel and what your heart speaks. I love you guys so much. Right now. For a moment, I felt what it was like for the blood in my veins to freeze. I understood when people say they can feel a shake in their knees. My stomach became a black hole that eliminated the sun from my universe. The sky was telling me I'd forever live in the darkness as my curse. Oxygen trickled out of my lungs as I stood in disbelief. My heart began to wither as if it were a leaf. Someone had taken my arteries and tied them into a knot. It felt as if any hope was discarded to die and rot. This was the moment in which I caught a glimpse of you walking away. If you were to ever be over me, I wouldn't beg you to stay. I would hope you'd find someone who can make you happier. That's how much I care. But I pray that I never have to wake up and live that nightmare. Truth is, I never want to close the door with you on the other side. My biggest fear is losing you and I must confide. The day I get to hold your hand is a dream come true. And every night I go to sleep in hopes I dream of you. Drenched in my own sweat, it is still dawn, but I am already on my feet. 
I just had a horrible nightmare once again, to my disdain. It's been torturing me like a plague, though somehow as time passed, it has become vague. I could remember the exact detail of such horrid experience. Seconds ago, the atmosphere was more intense. I could still feel my heart pounding, my cries resounding, the hair in every corner of my skin standing, terrified of the dark regime. He, she, or it towered above me, claimed my soul and my reality. I wanted to run away, but it grabbed me. It didn't say a single word. That made me more afraid of what is yet to unfold. It dragged me to this grimy pool of water. The creature touched it and it turned crystal clear. There I saw a solemn ceremony, people expressing such agony. I came closer. As I did, the air grew colder. One by one, people took turns speaking at the pedestal. At first, I could not figure out what was happening. Then I started listening. I heard them say my name, and as they do, they stutter, and their eyes started to tear. And as they continued, their voice would crack. It was then that I was taken aback because one has need to see what was inside the casket. I could see my lifeless self inside it. It was then that I realized the creature made me look at my own interment. Alas, I said, my soul is going to be liberated from the shackles of my reality, free from the praying eyes of society. And I look around and saw how people mourned for my young soul. But then, suddenly, the creature grabbed me and dragged me to a hole. At the bottom of the pit, and I opened my eyes. And then I deduced it was just a nightmare again. Trying to make me realize something beyond this earthly plane. I wait to live another day to correct my wrongs and say what I have and want to say.